Welcome to this episode of Digital Diary, Adventures of a Computerized Quilter. I'm Christine Perico, and I have Paige Johnson and Karen Farnsworth with us. And today we're actually going to walk through some of the other educational opportunities that are available from GAML, out on GAML Education. So we have our brand new tour classes that we're promoting, but we have a lot of other classes out there as well. So I thought we'd start just by going and taking a quick view on the website of where you can actually find those classes. So from the main GAML website, gamel.com, you can get there very quickly if you just scroll down. So I'm gonna scroll down and we're gonna look for online education. So down here where it says, be a confident quilter, we have our education opportunities. That's the fastest way to get to all of the GAML education options. From here, you'll be able to see and click on uh, learn more and register about our new tour classes which are, you have lots of different options. There's a hand guided track. There's a track just for Elevate this year, which is brand new, classes dedicated just to Elevate. There's our Statler track. And you can select any of those classes and add those. You'll be able to access those for the entire year. So you don't have to worry about getting everything right up front, you can always go back and rewatch all of those classes. But we're also having lots of live events coming up. So look for those. And all of the content for the Quilting with Confidence, this new Quilting with Confidence this year is different from the last one we did. All, all completely brand new classes. And with each section, there is an opportunity to speak live with the educators with a live Zoom conference. So we do lots of Q&A, plus you can always ask questions in all of the online forums as well. Okay, so if we keep scrolling down, you'll get to our other online education options. And that's really what we're gonna talk about today. But I also wanted to scroll down and let you know some other options we have on this page. So Paige, do you wanna tell us a little bit about the Educator Consult? Oh, I'm having so much fun with these and it gives you an opportunity to deal one-on-one -on -one with one of the educators. And for myself, I love the screen sharing capabilities because with Statler, I can put pictures on the screen. We can make mock-ups and boundaries and play with patterns and discuss what uh, the individual quilter wants to do in the directions they wanna go. It's easy to sign up and you can sign up with any of our educators one-on-one -on -one and really get what you're looking for for that special quilt. And this is so cool with um, with the instructors, like just that one-on-one -on -one thing. It's so awesome to be able to have those students, uh, for you to be able to answer exactly the questions, the burning questions, just exactly what they want to know. And trust me, you won't get the same answer from every one of us. You'll get a different answer from each one of us. So you might try the same question to different educators. You might get a different answer. Yep, we all have our own style. And so if you're looking for something more modern, you might try a different educator. If you're looking for quick, fast, and easy, um, I myself go, probably the harder route, but I love my results. So there's more than one way to do everything. And we have the educators that cover the gambit. Okay, so let's go check and I'm gonna go up to this view all online classes. 
So what we're really going to talk about today is these computerized quilting classes. So we have the tour classes out there, but we're gonna talk about the other classes available. These are more specific to a general area, I think. So again, at the top, our biggest thing is those brand new tour classes that encapsulate so much of what you can do with your uh, machines. And like I said, there is a specific Elevate track this year that we are absolutely promoting as just Elevate classes. You're not just shoved in with all of the other computerized students. So brand new Elevate focus. So some of these other classes like this Amplify Apply, I'm gonna go ahead, we're going to um, take a look. Paige has provided us with some specific pictures and promotional bits. So you can actually see what's in all of these classes because you have just the one picture and it tells you in the words what it's all about, but we have even more. So hold on just a minute and we'll pull that up. Okay, so we are talking about those other computerized classes on Camel Education. So I think first up is one of your classes, Paige. This is your Amplify Apply class. So okay. tell us all about what we learned in there. Well, in this class, I start off with a basic apply, uh, putting things into borders. Because the designs will follow whatever line you made, you can follow an uneven border and apply patterns to it. In all of my classes, I have exercises so that you can see how I did something in an actual quilt. Then you have boundaries or pictures that you can click over so you can replicate the work that I did. Um, apply can be something simple like a border you can make patterns like I did in uh, the square, in a square, it looks like a square rope, or you can move around very irregular shapes like on the bottom. I love that one. And that's a really popular class, I know. Lots of people wanna learn all about how to use apply. Oh, it is so much fun. I, I do it a lot, a lot. Well, not only fun, but it's like incredibly useful. It can make some things in custom quilting so much faster than creating a design from scratch or, you know, having to work with other features, multiple features, apply, does it faster? And I know that's what you show on the class page. Yep. Okay, let's see. So this is your blueprint class, right, Paige? Yep, uh, I do this a lot as well. And this is one of the things that I do do on my educator consult consulting gigs as well. And here you're gonna follow the exercises to learn how to build a blueprint. Um, for me, this is a roadmap and I like to draw the boundaries that show me the piecing lines on the quilt. And then I can easily determine what my patterns are going to look like. And not only what they're going to look like, but I can start to play with the manner in which I'm going to place those patterns. Here I'm doing a draw pattern, or I might try putting just a block over this. It gives me not only the what it's going to look like, but how I'm going to quilt it. And I love in this layout that you even include sashing designs in your draw pattern. Yep. Very, very cool. Okay. So this is your draw pattern. Okay, a draw pattern is uh, something I've been doing way back to uh, precision stitch. And basically I call it a page turner because you're turning a point to point into profit. It is a very quick and easy way to do a semi-custom just by clicking out. Uh, generally I'm using triangles. Four triangles make a black. 
uh, blocks then create overall designs and you get secondary designs between those patterns. Uh, this is a very long class. There is a number of videos, but each video shows you one new little tip or trick and showcases the patterns and how they look on actual quilts. All of my videos do include pictures of the actual quilts that I've done these on. I remember I took this class way back when and got so much from it. It is a fun class and I have, uh, like I said, I've been doing this for years and I'm still learning. I'm still learning new ways to do it. So I have not gotten tired of this. So your log cabin class, what do we learn in there? Oh, this is another one. I set these patterns up in repeat patterns and I then flip the designs or the rows and you can use concatenating. Again, it is a way to get a semi-custom look. It is custom by how the patterns fit the piecing, but it's semi-custom by how easy it is. And that's uh, also the quilt that I have behind me. And in this class, you get a variety of layouts and the patterns so you can figure out how to make them fit to your individual piecing on your quilt. You're given, um, I guess they're kind of like recipes of how to make the different sizes like barn raising or zigzag or diagonal lines or square and a square. Here you can see the quilting and what the actual um, pattern placement on the Statler look like. I love those of my customs. They are amazing. All one pattern and it stitches out like a overall design. Okay, what's with this one? Oh, this is a draw pattern and you can use as many patterns in a sequence when you start concatenating. And on this quilt, there are 12 patterns in that series. And it's just a question of where do you click? And this class is gonna walk you through some very basic ideas of how to think about it. I think the most patterns that I have done routinely is 24 in a series for clicking it out. And that does include stitching in the ditch around blocks. And that is one of the exercises that I give you in this class. Wow. Taking draw pattern to the next level. I love it. Okay. Repeat patterns. A uh, repeat pattern basically is my everyday moneymaker. Uh, I know edge to edge is quick and easy, but I like to have a little bit more control. And once you start doing it, doing it the same way every time, it's amazing how fast it comes together. Now here I have done the layout. This was actually a border pattern. And with repeat patterns, I have the ability to move the patterns on the screen and flip rows up and down. I can draw in different boundaries. And you can see where I actually got a, a border sashing uh, for that small stop border. It's all done in repeat patterns and it stitches over and back at one time. Absolutely. <laughs> okay. So Karen, this is one of your classes, right? Yeah, it is. And actually it's a screenshot from um, the actual Gamble Education page. 
And it might look a little bit different because the student's view is a little bit different than the educator's view, but I just thought it might be interesting to kind of see what it actually looks like when you get into a class and you can see the different tiles and the different topics. And most of the classes are broken down really easily so that you can just um, look at one section and there's probably a video and a little exercise and something to do. And just like with Paige's classes, um, the classes that I've put up here on Gamble Education, like this one, which is Pattern Designer 101 about creating patterns, there's a lot of um, doing. So there's a lot of exercises. It's not just showing you how to do something, but it's a project that you can work right alongside the instructor and do what I'm doing so that you get that practice and really build those skills. And I think that's really important. So this is one of my most popular classes because um, people are so excited about creating patterns. And, and this is a really good class for getting started in that and learning some of the basic concepts and draw features and, and really just kind of getting started with creating designs. And from there, you can kind of, as you both know, because you both create designs, once you have the basics down, you can, you can make anything in Creative Studio. Yeah, I think it's so nice because they're broken up into individual sections. If one section you can sail through, that's fine. If you have another section you'd like to watch two or three times and repractice it, you can very easily. Well, and I know a lot of us have these pattern classes where you're creating brand new patterns. So each, each instructor is going to teach it just a little bit different. So you might learn something different from Karen than you will in one of my classes. Yep, undoubtedly. Yep. Okay. This is your fun features class, right? It is. And again, it's just some images from uh, some of the things that you'll learn in the class. So the fun features class is literally just kind of a conglomeration. It's just several different features, um, learning how to use them, um, kind of getting the basics of them, and then um, some, some ways that they can be really helpful in your everyday quilting. So creating labels, and then of course, echoing patterns, apply, there's a little bit of apply in there. It's certainly not going to go as in depth as pages classes, but it's a good starting point. So I would consider this class more of a, an entry level class. So this class is good for just, um, any, any level of, of Statler or elevate user, because you can use these features in Creative Studio standalone mode uh, to create patterns and prepare patterns to take to your Elevate, as well as as a Statler owner, a Statler owner could, could use these features and these skills as well, so. Well, and it's good to bring up the class level, but this is really, you know, a beginner or all um, students kind of class. Whereas I know Paige and I have some classes that are a little bit more advanced. So I like the fact that we cover all different areas. That someone that is just starting out, we've got you covered. Someone who's been quilting for a number of years, but just needs to find a new inspiration or go in a different direction, we've got you covered as well. So there's something for everything on Gamble Education. And I believe all the class descriptions have um, some type of a, a level kind of description in there. So if you're not sure if a class is appropriate for your level, there's a, there's a, a, a description there. It'll say, you know, entry level, or it'll say more advanced, things like that. Yep. Okay. So this is one of my classes. This is my favorite class that I'd like to teach. This is my Simple Clicks Powerful Tools class. And this is, it's kind of like Karen's Designer 101 class, but I, we do simple little patterns and then we use a lot of the different features to take them to the next level. Um, so we create a lot of these very simple patterns, but then learn to use them with circular array or with fill or uh, pattern to boundary or setting them up in an alternating layout or sometimes we use apply with them so it really is a class that you can definitely get your feet wet in terms of my style of quilting 
Um, and everyone can take stuff from it. Um, we start at the very beginning of the class with a brand new project. And at the end, you'll end up with, you know, 20 new patterns in your patterns database. So. And the best part is you made them yourself. So you can recreate that and add your own twist, your own creativity to it. Absolutely. Okay. So this one is it's my hardest class to describe. Um, this is my fill class, Illusions of Continuity Using Fill to Its Fullest. So I, I have a tendency to use fill on everything. So I've gotten really good at using fill in unique ways. So this really, we take and we explain how fill does its job, but then I walk you through taking fill to the next level and doing multiple fills from a single pattern. Because a lot of times in order to eliminate all that over stitching around the edge of the boundary, we need to actually do multiple fills instead. And it's a whole lot easier. So that's, that's what this class is all about is literally a whole class on fill, but definitely more for your advanced students. Wouldn't, well, I wouldn't I, start with this class. <laughs> love fill, but my fill is, I would say more traditional. When I look at your style and my style, I think we both push creative studio, but we do it in different directions. And I, I think it's so much fun to have different styles included in all these classes. Right, well, and that's, it comes right back to that there are so, so many options for education and there's so many different styles of teaching and learning that um, there's an opportunity for all, any student to find a teacher that they connect with or a teaching style. And if there's something you wanna learn, it's out there and it's on Camel Education. <laughs> and it's not just the three of us, the other educators have, have classes as well. Yep. Lots of diversity out there. So this one is my blueprint class. So, um, I use blueprints differently than Paige does. So we actually go and set up a blueprint for a modern quilt, which typically are not on a grid or that sort of thing. And so I talk a lot about how to address modern quilts, right? Using some of those techniques and tools that you already know, and then applying them in different ways that you might not have thought of in order to get that uniquely modern kind of feel. Um, so things that I do talk about, um, we talk a lot about relocate in this class because a lot of times some of these big patterns, you need to get that relocate exactly spot on. So that's one of the things that I do cover in this class along with a lot of that layout over the top of an image. Yeah, bringing in that image can be so helpful. So very helpful. Absolutely. And then this is the last class I have up there. This is Mastering Stitch in the Ditch with CS7. So I do all of my ditch work with draw line and draw arc. And so I've come up with a fairly simple recipe for how to make ditch work work for you. And when you're doing custom quilts, ditch work makes the difference, stabilizes everything and really makes for a nicer looking quilt. And it's accomplishable if you just practice. And so this is a whole entire class where all I do is talk about stitching in the ditch and how to make it work. And I have a ruler base on my machine, but I do not use rulers to ditch, so. You can use Creative Studio and actually it makes that blueprint a whole lot easier in the end. Oh, I agree. I do a lot of custom work and stitch in the ditch is a make or break. Uh, if it's right in the ditch, you shouldn't even see it and it doesn't become part of the visual, but it makes everything else look crisp and defined. So I agree with the stitch in the ditch. 
So I just figured we, we've kind of pitched the classes that Paige and Karen and I all have out there on ammo education, but I figured we'd just take a quick scroll through the classes so that you can see what else is out there. There's definitely some classes by some of our other educators as well. So definitely go check them out. And you'll find a class that's just perfect for you. There are some classes that are specific to Elevate out there. So if you're looking for an Elevate class, that is an option. Um, and the other thing is our tour classes that we recorded from the previous time we were actually out on tour from 2019 are still available if you'd like to either rewatch those or take them if you didn't get a chance. They are available out there as well. So hopefully you've enjoyed us going over what we have available out on Gamble Education for some of our other class options. We have the tour classes as well as a lot of other educational opportunities from our instructors. Definitely go out and take a look at those and find the right class for you. Remember, you also have the option for the educator consult where you can do one on one sessions with any of us at any time as well. So, hopefully, you'll enjoy some of those online classes that we're able to bring to you from your own home. Hopefully, we'll be getting back into some live sessions here soon. Miss seeing all of your faces in class. So we'll see you guys next time on another episode of Digital Diary, Adventures of a Computerized Quilter. Bye. Hi, everybody.